So this is just kind of the reality of uh, taking a prolonged hunting trip with a bunch of hunting dogs who are going 100 miles an hour all day long. Uh, we're guessing Scout probably hit a fence. Uh, we didn't catch it last night when we did a once over. I don't know, she's got some, some longer longer hair, so maybe it was, it was hidden, but this morning, we know she was licking her leg and she had a pretty deep gash, so I'm guessing she had a bad encounter with the fence and just kept on hunting without a care in the world, but she might not care, but we do. So uh, we had to staple it up real quick, put some, uh, some emergency uh, gel on it, and then we wrapped it up and we'll Put her in the coat of shame for a few days, see how it looks in a day or two, get her to a vet, and hopefully she'll be hunting before the end of the trip. But uh, you know, the most important thing is to make sure that she has a full recovery. But it's the reality of, of taking these trips, it's, it's an inherent risk, and we all sign up for it. <laughs> Got off to a rough start today. Uh, did a lot of drive time, did a lot of dog care time. Uh, checked out a, a few different WPAs that just probably wouldn't have worked too well. We walked one, didn't see anything. And then uh, we made it to one final field for the golden hour hunt. And if anything, we're consistent. Emmy uh, bagged her, her very first South Dakota rooster. And now it's time to Cook it up. Oh yeah, Emmy's first South Dakota rooster. Probably worth celebrating. What better way to do that than a little tailgate grill action? Knocked him down today. Have at it. Thank you. Pan fried and butter. Can't beat it. <laughs> it's a simple thing to my mind. <laughs> Needed food. <laughs> yeah. 